一十多岁。大家好，我是素美龙，是小三部联盟的。呃，就是这个陈建文上任两年了，就这个社区没有做出贡献，就是没有关心我们这个小三部啊，教育工作。My name is Sumi Rong, small business in Chinatown. Margaret Chen has been in office for years. She has not done anything contributing and helping the problems that face by small business. 使得现在中国街很多就是一间呐啊，就是很多这些就是商铺啊，呃，地税呀。啊，水费呀、啊，呃，那个电视啊，就是这些都是在打。然后呢，这个中国就现在经济面临很大的困难，就是说没有呃很多就是生意，没有什么生意。所以我们需要一个关心我们小商户，关心我们教育，支持我们的，帮助我们的这个真理花，我要支持他。As you all know that uh, Margaret Chin, a uh, city council person, had pushed through the business approval for Schwartzen a couple of years ago. And uh, my property owner was going to be subject to the business approval district tax, which essentially is a form of double taxation for the services that we already paid for. And our concern is that since this tax uh, can raise the cost of doing business in Chinatown and have serious, serious ramifications. And we believe that what Margaret Chin just did would certainly speed up the gentrification process that already exists in Chinatown. By making, for example, the cost of feeding one's family more expensive, the cost of doing business in Chinatown more expensive. The business approval tax is an additional tax that the landlord, the property owner, will have to pay, unless, of course, the commercial the landlord forces the commercial property owner to pay that tax. That's what's going to force, how it's looking to increase the cost of the businesses in China. Now, let me give you an idea of what we face with this tax. And besides increase the cost, like, the working people in Chinatown will eventually have to pay. Uh, you also are subject to uh, paying for the cleanup of city properties, including the marriage bureau on Center Street that was formed in the Department of Motor Vehicle. What this tax does, essentially, is having us pay for city services that our real estate taxes are already paid for. So essentially, Bloomberg, for example, in the name of Margaret Chen, I'm concerned about the property owners or the community as a whole by having us pay for what the city should be paid for because they're already paying for those city taxes. So that's the subject, that's the thing that but, but as, as property owners and myself are concerned about. We're concerned about eventually passing on the cost to the, to the commercial businesses. Commercial businesses would pass the cost over to, to the consumer. And that's what's going to raise the cost of living in Chinatown. And this is what this is why I'm supporting Jennifer. Because I believe Jennifer, when she comes into office, 
will reverse the bid tax. And I think that's very critical for the survival of the Chinese community. Uh, when we asked for being exempt from this tax, we did not get it. So this is the typical double standard that we face. Also, nonprofits who own property, for example, AFI, Asian Americans for Equality, which Margaret Chen, of course, is affiliated with, they don't have to pay the tax either. So here there's this double standard and this conflict of interest that Margaret Chen fails to address. So, I believe that we should be actively supporting Jennifer and her campaign. I think it's a critical step in order to dissolve, undermine the, the current justification process that exists in Chinatown. I think it's very important for the future of this community. Thank you.